Hey guys, what is going on? This is iAppleGeek3 and today I am finally back with a top 10 tweaks list for iOS 9. It's been a long time since I've did one of these, so I decided to bring back some of the older tweaks that are compatible with iOS 9.3.3 and I have tested them here on my iPhone SE. Every tweak on this list is free, but a couple do require external sources and I'll have those down in the description for you guys. Now the first one I did want to show you guys is one of my personal favorites, it's called Flip Swipe. It basically brings the Snapchat functionality of being able to flip the camera without actually pressing the flip button. Now if we take a look at the settings under Flip Swipe, you can actually see all the different gestures you can do. There's up swipe, down swipe, etc. Now the next tweak is called Cache Clearer. Now what this does is when you go into Settings, General, and go to your storage and iCloud usage section, go to manage storage. You know, usually in here you can see all those applications that are taking a ton of space. For example, like Google Plus right here, like why are you taking up 400 megabytes? I mean, you're a 60 megabyte app. So all these documents and data, save pictures, cached images, are what's taking up all the space. Now, Cache Clear allows you to go ahead and clear all of that. And when you go back into the storage section of settings, you can see all that junk is gone. This is especially useful for social media apps like Snapchat or Instagram that tend to save a lot of data that you don't use after a few days. So once you clear that and if you go back into the social media app, it won't be gone, it will just have to reload them. And usually it doesn't load everything back, you know, from three months ago, but instead it just loads the most recent stuff, which definitely helps to save storage. Next up we have another essential called Cylinder which basically adds animation to your home screen when you swipe back and forth. Now there are tons of these to choose from so you don't have to be worried about being bored when you swipe around your home screen. Now the next feature is called Disturb Me Later. Now what this does is add a timer to the do not disturb function in iOS. Just go ahead and swipe up in control center, hold down on the moon, let go, and this will pop up. It looks just like your normal timer. You can scroll back and forth, set your time, and do not disturb will turn off automatically when the timer is up. I mean, why didn't Apple put this into iOS? This is such an essential feature. Now the next one is kind of small, but it can solve some big annoyances. Now this is called grabber time. When you swipe down in a full screen application, you can actually see the current time and the battery level of your device. And in case you're wondering, yes, that is GBA for iOS. I'll have a source down below in the description that you can add to Cydia and download this emulator. Now the next one is very nostalgic for me because it brings back the old iOS 6 styled update banner on the application when you just update an app from the App Store. As you guys can see here on my eBay application, there's this nice little banner. I mean, it looks so much better than the little blue dot. I mean, look at it. It's so good. So good. This is Icon Sash. Now the next tweak in my opinion is also a must have. It's called Lock Glyph. Now this adds that Apple Pay animation to your lock screen when you go ahead and touch ID to open up your device. Status bar timer allows you to see the current timer in your status bar. Very self-explanatory. You can also change the border between the time and your timer in the settings panel for this tweak. You can literally set it to just about anything with an emoji or even just regular text. Now the next tweak is actually an iOS 10 feature of the notification center when you swipe down and it reveals the latest notifications you have. This is called Reveal NC9. And it goes very well alongside of Grabber Time. This was a feature Apple implemented back in iOS 8 beta but then they took it out by the final release. This is called Record and Torch. When you start recording a video, you can actually toggle on and off the flashlight for your video. Why was this feature removed from iOS? I mean, why? This is, this is common sense right here. This is really basic. Alright, if you watched this video this far, you have gotten to the bonus tweaks section. Now this is called Initialized. For this iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak, you know, it's semi-untethered and sometimes it's hard to tell whether or not you are jailbroken. So this tweak will actually tell you when the jailbreak has been initialized. Pretty self-explanatory. Using a tweak called No Motion will disable that parallax effect on your home screen and save some battery life. 
And last but not least, we have Zeppelin, which basically replaces your carrier with a logo or with a custom text. Now, right now, it is a little bit buggy, and it looks, it looks like the logo changes are kind of delayed, and the carrier text isn't entirely accurate. All right, you guys, that'll be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to rate me up, leave a comment, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hopefully, these tweaks will get you started on your iOS 9 jailbroken journey. Anyways, guys, until next time, peace. If it happens to you, um, do try it on a different computer or perhaps just wait for Pangu to update their tool. So my device just restarted and I'm going to log in here and swipe over and there is Cydia.